This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Hello, and my name is Bamo Lopio. Welcome. And today we have a very interesting topic. How do you just know that you are only but a starter wife? <laughs> hey, Benjamin. And we are talking about this, you know, terrifying stories of people who built with a man. Yep. And when money came, he left. Yeah. To, an, to be with another now, the trophy wife. Yeah. And we are looking for signs ahead. Some of this um, con games, some of the betrayals, Disorganize your life so much that you want to avoid them as much as you can. Exactly. You don't want to be swindled of 20 years of investment. And now you have to reorganize from zero. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be disorganized after all those years of building. So we are giving the signs so that you spare yourself. Number one, um, some of the preliminaries is, although in Africa many of us are starting from zero building from the ground up, yeah. we are not inheriting a lot of wealth. <laughs> we are coming from a place where we are the ones giving the parents. <laughs> hey. the, the root cause of poverty is mismanagement. Yep. It's not lack of resources. Mm -hmm. Opportunities, time and chance happens to all. All of us. <laughs> but we mismanage the opportunities. Yeah. If you if you number one is do not confuse building from the ground with dating a stranded man. All right. Many times you're going to have to build it from zero in terms of wealth creation. Yeah. But in terms of managing a man's money and his emotions, mm -hmm. you should or you should make sure you're seeing a person who has demonstrated capacity. So the first sign that you are only a starter, you're not really the wife, is when he relies on your money mm -hmm. to run the family. <laughs> One radio was asking me to comment on why men are going for the working class, but in terms of when there is financial difficulty, that she can also chip in and, re and help, and whether there is any problem with that. I said, every man wants a person who can help. Yeah. In all ways. <laughs> financially. Yeah. Help emotionally. Mm -hmm. Help situationally. So the better equipped the helper is, the better. Yeah. The problem is when he hides behind wanting help and absconding, so that she takes over. A sincere man wants an equipped helper, but he himself keeps himself in front as the leader. Mm -hmm. Where the back stops, lifts, does the, does the heavier lifting, do, does the providing. He's not trying to scatter and avoid and run away. Mm -hmm. So the thing with the first rule is this. When you, when you must bring 50-50, when there are duties that are yours compulsorily, when you're not free to be a woman, when you must hustle, and it, when you, whenever you're contributing mandatorily, it, co it changes you to a half of a man. Yeah. You lose your femininity. The feminine energy is meant to receive and nurture and is supposed to operate from a place of rest, mm -hmm. not struggling. Does not mean to say those who have to bring up families alone cannot still be feminine. But when it's in the context of a marriage, your position should be that of a woman. When you have to champion life alone, you look for a way to keep your feminine energy alive doing what the ruler did, still raising mighty men. Yeah. But in the context of a relationship, the context of a marriage, when the woman is meant to also hustle out there, when she's meant to also fight out there, to knowing that she's relied on, depended on me, she must do this. Some the woman in his life. Mm -hmm. He was looking for a crutch, somebody to limp across the rough party season of life with. Okay. He, you are here to help do the heavy lifting and build. He, this is not him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not the person who you, you are hoping for a partner, a marriage, a, a husband. What you are struggling with currently is that you are doing the lifting. When the leeway comes, when you have built him, you realize he never had you your interest at heart. Mm -hmm. 
The first sign that a man truly wants you as a wife is when he's nurturing, caring, giving, pouring, lifting, and doing the, doing the, really building you up. Mm -hmm. But when you are being, when he is compelling you to lift, to carry, you are just a beast of burden. You are not a queen in this in this union. Right. And when he finally finds the leeway, now he will go to enjoy romance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This was war. This was struggling. Okay. This was hustling. He, he, he doesn't perceive it like romantically entertaining. Mm -hmm. And the second sign that you're only a starter wife is when, when you, your value comes from what you do, not who you are. Mm -hmm. It comes from the, the way you're babysitting well, the way you're managing the family well, the way you're propping him up financially, the way you are covering him up in, in terms of reputation and everything, those things are virtuous. A good woman, when you get a good woman, she'll do those things for you. She'll help you think together with you. And there's a very good rhythm and a dance of way braving the tough seasons of lifting this side, I lift this side, lift this side. But there are women who don't have a sense of who they are as a person, mm -hmm. the honesty they bring the character they bring, the reliability they bring, they, they, they don't know what that. They come from a place of service industry. Mm -hmm. This is butter trade where she must bring in service. If you are here and you must perform to prove your value, you are only building for another to come and squander. Okay. You should, on top of serving, on top of raising the kids, on top of, you should see you being cherished for just you. Mm -hmm. You should feel being appreciated for your personality, not your performance. They are related, but they are different. The first one, you are being demanded to lift financially. Mm -hmm. Women should contribute financially, but should not be the one the man relies on. He should be prepared himself to go and carry the family. He should be prepared himself to go and do the work. If you find that he's is leaning on you to do the lifting and it's dividing and compelling. It's because you're not, that's why he brought you here. He don't bring you here as a wife. Mm -hmm. It's a beast of burden. The second rule is when you're not recognized, appreciated for who you are. It's that the things you do. Be careful whenever people are appreciating you, the things they're highlighting. If you only highlight how you have improved their life, you should be scared. Okay. <laughs> that is performance. Right. <laughs> if, if the investment you've done, any investor who had invested that way would also be giving the similar compliment. Yeah. You should hear another quality of compliments. That it's the personality, it's the way you're kind, it's the way you're honest, and the way you can actually challenge them to be better. Mm -hmm. Not the money you've given, the fees you've paid, the way your risk is, the way you've built a house. Those performance oriented things are very superficial. And anybody else can perform them. Yeah. In case any time a, a better performer appears, <laughs> you'll be replaced. Yeah. The things about you that are irreplaceable concern the kind of friend you are, what a good listener you are, and your heart. Those things that are unique to you, always make sure you feel appreciated for them. Mm -hmm. There's something I told you the other day that there are qualities that are so rare although you hear them being mentioned every day, actually to find them. It's a problem with gold. Everybody knows the word gold, but how many have seen gold? Very few. <laughs> That's the problem with character. Yeah. You hear it's in everybody's mouth, but in very few people's lives. Mm -hmm. Character and gold are easy to spell, to say, to pronounce, but to find it. So apart from the cash, <laughs> Apart from the money <laughs> and the service, are you appreciated for just being sincere, warm, listen, honest, for just being consistent, for just being hard, hard worker, driven, diligent, reliable? Those elements of character are so golden and so rare. It can take you a whole year before you find a solid person with those qualities. Mm -hmm. Even when you are not looking for marriage, even employment, to find a solid person <laughs> who can be trusted with money when nobody is watching. Yeah. They have the room to steal and they want to steal. Mm -hmm. Look at the Kenyan atmosphere. People praise. They look like if somebody forgets to take their money now, you are lucky. Yeah. You have bought a vehicle, the conductor 
someone forgot to ask for your money. Now you are you are writing it online like you, you found Kisman. That mm. was a fun. That was luck. I was lucky. Blessing. <laughs> and another person doing that to you, you'd feel so bad. Yeah. How many people are honest with money? It has become so rare to find honesty. That when you find it, it's advisable you maintain the contacts of those people. Even if you're not in the same industry. I suggest you always find a way <laughs> to keep a record of all honest people you come across. <laughs> just, 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 just keep a record. <laughs> a guy called Marshall was made the, 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 the leader of the U.S. military when they were joining the... The U.S. was going to World War II. Mm -hmm. And the military was in shambles. The leadership had been very bad. People had monstrous egos. They had made their small kingdoms inside. Spheres of influence. And they were conflicting and fighting. And the army was in shambles. So a young person, relatively young, of a younger generation rather than the older ones, mm -hmm. was Roosevelt made him the, 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 the commander. They want to be in charge. What he did is what I'm asking you to do. He, some instinct had uh, told him to keep a, a record of all promising, driven, sincere young people he came across. Mm -hmm. He had been in the military, he had trained in the college. So he kept a list of all promising. <laughs> Do you know that's what saved him? Look at that. He called up those people he had been seeing out for 20 years, yeah. decades call it. And now he had a quality group that he could place in leadership. Mm -hmm. One of them was Dwight D. Eisenhower. You, now you know the name. Yeah. Because somebody had crossed his path when he was a young boy mm -hmm. and kept the record. And then he, 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 he now forwarded him and they worked together. That's how they were able to win out there in the field. And characters become so rare. Honesty itself. I don't know why when, when you're being told keys, formulas to success, people are going out there mm -hmm. and talking about many other things come down here and compliment what God complimented about Job. His integrity. Yeah. He reveres God and hates evil, hates dishonesty, hates bad uh, uh, insincere again. He explained in, in, in chapter 29 how he would help the poor, defend the weak, and he would stand in the gate and talk with sincerity and talk wisdom and talk knowledge. And, and when you look at his lifestyle, what pleased God. But what are we talking about today? It's about the flashy things, the possessions we have, and the like, and the trending. Solidness. Today, to find solid people is very hard. If you know you are a solid person, make sure before you are complimented for your beauty, before, while people want to see the job you did, let them notice how steady you are. Mm -hmm. If you're in a marriage, and a man does not recognize that you're a solid woman, solid woman, you're sincere, you don't lie, you're telling the truth. If that's not what you are hearing, in the wrong place. All right. Remember, you can be a perfect person in the wrong location. Mm -hmm. Perception controls relationships, yeah. not character. Mm -hmm. You can be a very honest person, but if a person believes you're dishonest, they will treat you as if you are dishonest. <laughs> it's how they perceive. It's not who you are. Yeah. Are you perceived correctly? What is the attitude of that man towards you? Although you are championing for him, does he keep suspecting you? When you are young, you never used to know why God can't deal with unbelief. Until you also needed to be believed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when you, it reached a point where now you also have responsibilities in career, relationships, and Somebody treating you like you are about to run away with the 500 shillings mm -hmm. felt insulting. They can't let you run a show because they've done a delivery of 500 shillings and they're calling you with 50 numbers to send out much money. 500 <laughs> <laughs> Insinuating that you have the capacity to swindle them. Yeah. And you wonder, I already told you, why can't you believe me? My money is in the car, I'm in the studio, <laughs> my show is going on. Why all this? From there, you decide you never deal with anybody who does not believe you. you. Yeah, that's God's position. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now you understand. <laughs> <laughs> if you marry a person who does not believe you, mm -hmm. who suspects you of sleeping, then I don't know how people tolerate that.
This person suspects no sleep in anything. And you still keep going back to them. It's so insulting when you're sincere. Particularly when you don't have a history of violating people. Yeah. And you've given them no ground. But they don't believe you. You are not the one. In fact, people build up those kind of cases against you in their own mind mm -hmm. to justify when they finally swindle you. They don't feel bad. Yeah. People accuse you falsely to silence their conscience mm -hmm. when they treat you falsely. They treat you wrong and they needed some justification that you also are not that good. You also did this and that. And they build in their head. People keep repeating wrong things to you to convince themselves. Be careful. You're right. Be careful. Mm -hmm. They accuse you things so that they don't feel bad for what they are doing or planning to do. Okay? Yeah. Whenever people blatantly accuse you out of the blue, mm -hmm. it's a conversion of what they are doing behind the scenes. Instead of defending yourself, be curious. Mm -hmm. Now, come close and look. And observe. Many times it is, uh, it's because of tourism. Mm -hmm. The people are so traumatized by past betrayals yeah. that they are unable to conceptualize faithfulness. They are triggered. They see that can be human during the early stages of recovery. Mm -hmm. But if a person is stuck there, they are unable to forgive. The relationship is impossible. Mm -hmm. Some relationships are so difficult that you only remain there to hold it up while it is damaging you. Yeah. Not everybody has the courage to walk away. Some people stay on and they get damaged. Not all people are together are still married. There's no marriage there. Mm -hmm. Many of them, they've been died. Yeah. <laughs> and what is there? Just poison. Mm -hmm. And you hear, we sleep in different bedrooms. <laughs> we have no life. <laughs> you know. One of the principles you need to realize is that you know you are only here as a forerunner of the real one. <laughs> 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 when you nobody recognizes you for who you are, yeah, okay. you are only needed for what you do. And the third thing which you need to be very careful with is you know a person is with you for a short time when you are the one in front of him mm -hmm. in everything. Remind women the following marriage only works when the man is a leader. Okay. This is a psychological law. Mm -hmm. I do not want to fight with it. Ladies who become financially successful early on. They want to compromise too much so that they don't end up alone. Yeah. There's a, a book called Women Who Try Too Hard. They try so hard to make a relationship work. Mm -hmm. The rules are three. When you marry a man who is younger than you, many of them, you find that she's 35, she's trying to settle and she finds a guy who's 32, like 30. Mm -hmm. Don't marry men who are under 30. They don't know themselves. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. They're just excited that you are all this. <laughs> he can be sincere, but he's still too naive. Mm -hmm. Remember, whenever you deal with people who are not enlightened, it's upon you to make the right judgment because you're the one who knows better. Yeah. Later on, when things go south, you have nobody to blame. Mm -hmm. You should know better. When he's younger, we said he should be ahead in everything else. Mm -hmm. He may be younger than you, but... Develop personal development wise and financially and self character leadership he is ahead able to lead you the energy between the two of you can form the leader supporter rhythm mm -hmm. dynamic but if he is also behind in education behind in personal development behind in finances he may be doing well for himself but when you are so far ahead there will be no rhythm two cannot work together except if they reign if they agree yeah. The third rule to know that you are only here to pre prepare the way for the, for, for the one is when you are the one leading mm -hmm. in the union, bringing the ideas, sparring him on, the one initiating, the one thinking projects, the one looking out for the family, the one, and some men are very comfortable sitting back at home. Mm -hmm. They will end up now picking a woman of their level and they say they are falling out of love. Yeah. They are waiting for, to accumulate enough money they can carry away from you. And because you also don't have the strength to fight nasty, they know if they put up a nasty fight, you will give up and they carry a lot of your money. Mm -hmm. Others will steal their way using their child or the children to win the children. And then you're saying you're doing this for the children so they can have time with their father. 
when actually he does not have you in heart. He's using the children. Children don't are easy to play with. They're easy to he has some great time there and they bond. They're just emotional. They don't think. They can't see things in perspective. So many people hide behind the children. They go to be at home. They do the errands. And you can see they're just comfortably behind you. Mm -hmm. Comfortably relaxed. Comfortably rested. And they're there. You know very soon when this man has a position he will swindle you. When you see Ali that you're the one leading, not him. With the time he gets tired and gets resentful of being ordered around. You know, whenever you are the one suggesting, coming up with ideas, <laughs> financing, <laughs> suggesting here, and when you leave, he doesn't do anything, so yeah. you still, it will get resentful. Mm -hmm. The masculine energy is very leader-like. In the family union, he's supposed to lead. Mm -hmm. And we say it, you don't keep your woman small, that you can lead. Let her flourish. The leadership you're talking about is the family head. Family head means this lady can bring in a lot of money, she may get a good job, and we need the money to move our projects forward. But she does not take over the position of headship, the position of protecting the family, answering for the family, Covering the family in terms of emotional well-being. And there's a place. That place of being a husband, the man of the family, is exclusive. It's unique. Mm -hmm. It's not... Even when there's money and you know how to answer, you know how to show up, how to look out there, how to, sh to be in front, how to care, love them, look out for their well-being, show up in the public square, in the public spaces, you 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 are you are hands on. You are there with the children. You check out the well-being of your wife. Even if she's earning millions, you very happily mm -hmm. let you remain in front. In fact, a healthy feminine energy likes it when a man is out there dealing with the masculine things, and she can rest. Simple things like the mechanics, the mechanical things of the family. Simple things like cherishing her, listening to her when she's, she has a... Women need attention the same way men need sex. Mm -hmm. But society has emphasized what men need. need. And they have not emphasized what the woman needs. Mm -hmm. The one thing a woman can't be given by money and job is attention. Listening, what she's dealing with, the current of life, just being in contact and exchanging and that rhythm of j that, that, that part is so exclusive. Nothing else gets in there. Mm -hmm. Not the luxuries of life, not the position at work. That place to cherish the, the girl as a friend, to, to, to just think together, discuss together, and comfort her and listen and understand and validate her thoughts. That part, my brother, is very... It's your monopoly. Mm -hmm. You should occupy that place and she will always feel like she has a man. Whenever you hear that, a woman cheated, she will have started there. Another man filled that space. Mm -hmm. She felt left out, and at some point she went to, she drifted to relying on another person to comfort and validate. So we are saying, you know you're not the one when you're always the one doing more, you know, hunting more, out there, looking out for. That man has not arrived in his energy. Mm -hmm. One day you hear that he has left with that person who, who insults you. A very person you can't compare with. Women keep asking what was better with that one than mm -hmm. me. Sometimes people marry a person who is lower than you because she's closer than him. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. The two of them are more alike <laughs> <laughs> than you. Yeah. And you built the wrong person for so long, mm -hmm. blinded to the fact thinking you're sacrificing for the family. Mm -hmm. Sacrificing should not mean condoning. Should not mean self abandonment. Yeah. Should not mean disenfranchising yourself of happiness. Mm -hmm. While we build, we should be happy. While we build, we should be there, have each other's back. While we build, we should have the energy, the courage, the togetherness, the unity. And the last point a sign, a predictor. Another sign that you run away is when he has a tendency to flirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flirting is. Checking open doors, concealed as for fun. Mm -hmm. We're only talking, we're not doing anything. 
Even the two of you started by talking. Talking is the president's for everything. Yeah. All affairs start that way. You know, people don't just meet quietly, they start doing things. Mm -hmm. They talk first. Talking is the foundation. Mm -hmm. So they've been knocking doors. And because they did not have much money, much desirability, nobody wanted them. Mm -hmm. hey, now that you've built them, they have a status. They have a car, which you have a lot of contributed to get it here. They have a house and a name. Now people are liking them. Whenever you see Ali, serial flirting. Whenever you see Ali, flirtatious behavior, seduction behavior, ask yourself, project that to the future when there will be a bad dance. Mm -hmm. Project that to the future. What, will, what do you see? And I was asking one lady, what I don't get, because it appears very common sense. But we seem to get it wrong when emotions are very high. Yeah. She, I met this guy, we got a child, I, I realized he's also sleeping with my best friend, oh my God. But you met and did the same business. He is doing it, that is his life. <laughs> you know, it is all direct. I people want to skip away. It. Exactly. You did not. <laughs> on what basis did you think he, he, he does not sleep with everything? You joined him in that activity. Yeah. You know why? We project ourselves to other people. Yeah. We think, me, I'm faithful. I'm hoping to he is faithful. Based on what? You're faithful on your values. Who told you he has those values? Mm -hmm. He has that self-respect. He has that fidelity. If there's one thing you must always apply to let you see how people are self-controlled, is a sexual aspect. Yeah. See them manage situations. Watch them navigate. Watch them say no. Control their feelings. Practice delayed gratification. It takes so much, Brahma, for a person to be a faithful husband. It takes... So much when seasons are changing. Mm -hmm. It takes so much when we are, you know, we are navigating and we can't be policing each other. We have a lot to build and we are hoping to be successful. If you and your wife do marriage right, mm -hmm. you'll end up very successful and admirable. If you do marriage well. Yeah. If you do marriage well, you'll be so, temptations will come. Mm -hmm. Have you confirmed whether the one you married can manage them? It is a disaster to join in the vice. You mm -hmm. hope it will not follow you in marriage. But we confuse love with all these, all these things. And yet it is a, a thing you are entering for the long term. Mm -hmm. In summary we are saying you can predict, you can foresee that you are not the final one. You are not the one to come. You are making the way for the one to come. Yeah. <laughs> join the Baptist. <laughs> When you are being used to brave the hard times yeah. by compulsory quarter of how much you must pay. <laughs> As opposed to a voluntary contribution to a man who is already covering the family. Mm -hmm. You know you are not the one when you are not valued for your integrity, mm -hmm. for your faithfulness. They don't know your heart. They know your hand. Mm -hmm. They depend on what you bring, not who you are, not your being. You don't feel seen, felt. You just feel spent, drained. And because society says you're working for your family, yeah. you think now they can't leave you with all the sacrifice you have done, mm -hmm. the loans you have taken, the self-sacrifice, the, de the delayed, th th how you have squeezed yourself. You are preparing for another one. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> that one is when you are the one who is leading the union, mm -hmm. not being led. When you are the one making decisions, pushing for the house, pushing for family to have essentials, and going out of the way to initiate and pay the price, take two jobs and do works, try and delay this to get us a home, and you are married. You are not a couple, you are co-husbands. Okay. <laughs> there are two men. <laughs> you also are man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel like you are so masculine, the fighting energy. Yes. 
and when you ask them how's your marriage doing we are just there mm. <laughs> so and lastly he is already checking out other women when he is not this desirable and you're working so hard to make him more desirable mm -hmm. to facilitate his already visible desires what else do you expect when he gets the facility now he won't care whether it came from you you run away with it yes powerful and i resonate very well with what you are saying benjamin as you are saying there are two things that i'm trying to actually link whatever you are saying to two categories of people number one firstborn daughters or firstborn ladies mm. you see because of the environment in the home they are used to giving giving out life when they actually giving out love when they make it in life they give out money to the extent that when they find this guy they are also tempted to start giving again that is where we miss it do you know married to a first daughter and she struggles so much to receive mm -hmm. feels so unnatural and she met an old friend and they had a very pleasant catch up and the friend said i'm leaving but i'd like to pay your bill yeah it was a restaurant and the friend left. So after she had taken and this, there's nothing indecent or anything. Mm -hmm. A sincere person whom you have done life with in the past. Mm -hmm. They're just happy that you, to see you're doing well. Both of you are doing well, blessed by this point. Uh, you know? And she said, I struggled. There's no indecency or anything. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not used to sending this bill for a person to pay. So it's true. The orientation of the children who are born first to take care of the other children and the African context of being parentified and giving, they can marry and continue the same operation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is the first union, union where they need to be given. Mm -hmm. Where they need to be taken care of, cherished, pampered. Yeah. But they have never experienced it. It's, it's not part of their makeup. Yeah. So it's very easy to tolerate a taker, mm. to prepare a betrayer, to fatten <laughs> the one <laughs> who will give them a killer blow. <laughs> because she's being herself by just giving. Exactly. And you are saying that sometimes you don't see good things happening to you because you are the good thing happening to people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then now and then you reflect, my life, how is my life? Mm. How come? You are giving people so much birthday. On your birthday, nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Only those who still need you. Happy birthday, mom. Those who you are still feeding. <laughs> the ones. <laughs> the ones you have already fed. <laughs> they have grown. <laughs> they are no. Yes. It is ones who are still suckling. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> hey. Um... The solution, Brahmal, mm -hmm. is counterintuitive. Okay. Is to do what society does not trumpet. Mm -hmm. Remember, society doesn't care about your well being. Mm -hmm. They care about how well you serve them. Yes. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. Right. And in our Christian societies and communities, we don't know what it is that serves us versus what is encouraging us to be loyal mm -hmm. to that church, to that community. Exactly. They, they tend to shape you more. For them. Mm. Not for you and your journey. People like that are very few. And when you meet them, they stand out and their vibe is very different. Mm -hmm. When they're trying to build you to be better in your journey of faith and and you find yourself giving them even if they're not asking. Yeah. Your loyalty flows naturally to those kind of people mm -hmm. who are not asking for they challenge you when you need to be challenged. They call out <laughs> what you need to be called out on. Yeah. You find yourself going after them. Please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Those people are very few. Yeah. You are supposed to do the following, although you don't hear it in your teachings about faith. Okay, the places that talk to you, teachings, how many are they? Surely. We don't have people who teach you to be better. Exactly. It, many people, it's only the church where somebody tries to teach mm -hmm. them. The other places you have to go for it yourself. So do the following. Make progressive self-awareness, progressive self-analysis, reflection of your life. Mm -hmm. Make personal growth a strand, a parallel program of your life that you attend to constantly. Okay. 
That's when you evolve to the consciousness of knowing what you deserve versus what you're being getting. Mm -hmm. That's when you begin to be given clues. When you're reading books about marriage, listen to podcasts, listen to materials, you keep hearing and reflecting. It won't take long before you realize when it's a bad deal. Mm -hmm. Those who say, I could not have friends to talk to, YouTube, podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Pe Sources, click play. You can tell when it is truth. And when it is exposing problems in your own life, mm -hmm. you, your ears shall hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Yeah. Learn to listen. The first organ you use before you even arrive there is not smell, is not taste, is not nose. Learn to hear. Mm -hmm. What you hear, listen, study, concept. You will continue reflecting and you know, so my firstborn is a potential diagnosis. Mm. That will be the first clue. You hear the position being mentioned. Why are people mentioning firstborn so much? We are so many children. Why can't you talk about that one today? Yes. And you keep, why is it a topic anyway? <laughs> Let me get a book. Okay. Oh. By just being inquisitive, yeah. you can get to know, ah, so this is not, there's something about it? Okay. This one said this. It will not take you a year of learning two years of conscious learning before you know that actually being a first daughter is, predis is a predisposition mm -hmm. to being too good for your own good. Exactly. <laughs> to being so much of a giver yeah. until you facilitate takers. Mm -hmm. To being too trusting until you open your door to thieves. To being too much of building others until you don't check whether they're building you. Mm -hmm. And many have died for an unreciprocated un un giving. They sacrificed their lives until they became barren. Many of their lives are being held back for not developing self-love. Mm -hmm. And you, you get to know that even in healthy families, when you are the first child, the f your conversations were with grown-ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of your conversation was with grown-ups. Yeah. That position alone is pre pre precarious. Yeah. Your younger sibling had a child to talk to. Mm -hmm. Which child were you talking to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, all your world views are grown up. Responsibility, res discipline, show up, pay, be self disciplined, save money, look at the life, control yourself. That, that was the vibe you were receiving. Mm -hmm. When you became a best friend to mom, you are best friend to a person who is already out there in the battlefield of life. When you, when you begin to talk to dad, the conversations are up there. Mm -hmm. By just being fast child, your exposure is very different. And people may want to tap into that so that you can carry them. Yeah. Because for you being being responsible is not. Are you not saying all oh, first born are natural? Mm -hmm. are, are responsible? It takes how you receive life. Despite all the exposure, you can still decide to be reckless, irresponsible. Of we're talking about that position, and if you took it well, you are a resource. And these wild thieves are targeting you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For that, as you wind up, Benjamin, the other category is. Um, good-hearted women yes who can't resist seeing their man struggle yep what's the solution then two things it does not mean you sit back when your man is in a, in a rough place mm -hmm. it does not mean you look away and you ignore it does mean that you are hands off and you're seated there mm -hmm. Brahmael two are better than one in that when one falls the other one can lift them up. Yeah. I hope you get a strong helper. That in your, you, you don't allow ego and insecurities make you to go for the weak girl who helplessly needs you. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything. You will collapse in the battles of life. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua was fighting in the valley. Moses praying for him in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And Moses himself needed helpers to help him keep his hands in position. Yeah. You not only need a helper, you need a helper who knows how to gather other helpers, helpers. <laughs> <laughs> to help them help you. Yes. One guy was so sick, he needed four people to carry him with a bed and destroy a person's roof <laughs> to get him to the healer. That man would have died. Yes. If it were not for those kind of friends. <laughs> In fact, he didn't have the faith. <laughs> 
He was not even, you know, you don't have current affairs. When you are sick, you are fighting disease. You don't have current affairs that there is a healer in the village, in town. <laughs> that has, you know, we know the house is in. And although it is full, we can, we can negotiate with the, with, the, with the owner later. We can repair together. <laughs> I told you during my pre-wedding, when you were so squeezed, that even 100 shillings was a miracle. Mm. <laughs> the currency does not determine money. The amount of money, the value of money is determined by situations, yeah. not just the currency. Mm -hmm. The situation you are in, a thousand can be a life saver. <laughs> <laughs> in other days, you forgot a thousand in the jacket, mm -hmm. this one is there, the cleaner found it. <laughs> in good times, a thousand. <laughs> okay, thank you. You can actually have it. Go take lunch. Mm -hmm. Ah, that situations. <laughs> That's in thousand. <laughs> a brother sending you an impressor. Yeah. <sighs> you can never forget that brother. <laughs> So, I hope you find the help is both equipped. What we are discussing today is, even if you are very good at it, do not confuse genuine struggles of life with somebody ducking their responsibility, yeah. avoiding, escaping, and leaning on you unfairly. Mm -hmm. Yes. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we are talking about the pitfalls that we are prone to actually ignore when you are looking for that man to settle. Remember, when you acquire new knowledge, two things are bound to happen. Think differently. After thinking differently, act differently. Thank you, thank you for watching. Let's do this again next time. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart Mothers. We're converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 